resources from the Pentagon, $60 billion of Cold War and obsolete weapons. Um, you had said that you would um, commit as president um, to review all options top to bottom um, in the U.S. government. Um, but as, as a U.S. Senator, you're voting on the, the Pentagon budget. Um, so if you don't believe that you should look into the $60 billion waste as, as a senator, why should we believe you'll do that as a presidential candidate? Well, the, uh, I don't think that I've said that I wouldn't look into it. What I've said is, is that the, I don't have the capacity to uh, strip out all the waste in the Pentagon budget as it's currently structured. So what is presented to me is a big omnibus budget. And we can present amendments to have certain programs removed or adjusted, but without 60 votes in the Senate, we can't get much done. As president, I craft a budget. And so I can then prioritize and make decisions in terms of how that uh, federal budget should be, in fact, structured. There is no doubt that there's waste in the Pentagon. I don't think, and, and I've said very clearly that I think there's waste in the Pentagon. Uh, what I have said also is that if we can wind down this war in Iraq, that that will yield savings that can be reinvested in domestic priorities. Um, but you know, what I have also said is that we're going to have to do some work in rebuilding uh, a military that has been strained to the breaking point as a consequence of this misguided war in Iraq, uh, which means that, for example, National Guards that took all their equipment over to Iraq are now coming home without any of that equipment, and National Guards now don't have a lot of the resources that they need, not only for work overseas, but work here domestically. And that's going to have to be replenished. We're going to have to reduce rotations uh, because we've had you know, young men and women who've had to go over seas two, three times. It's not fair on them or their families, which means that we're going to have to make some adjustments in terms of our force structure. Uh, but I am absolutely positive that there are uh, significant savings to be obtained in the Pentagon budget. And since I have a wide range of domestic priorities that I want to fund, I'm going to put everything on the table, including that Pentagon budget.